hey y'all Rochelle here your delightful crafter um sorry I've been absentee for a couple days um it's been busy at work I had my consult with the surgeon yesterday so I'll update you on that at the end and um and I'm on a scavenger hunt involving this um which again I will discuss at the end as you can see um I have a order from MFT <clears throat> And they just did their new release. There's some seriously cute um, goodies in here. Um, there's only a couple items I didn't get. So um, I'll probably place another smaller order probably in the next week or so. And then it'll probably be a little while before you see MFT again unless there's a release. Uh, so there you go. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around to spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Um, I've been stripping beds today, like, all the way down. I have, I've shared with you guys those little earbuds that um, I love they're like wicked cheap sound amazing on Amazon I've shared them uh, if you're interested ask me and I'll give you a link but uh, they're like I think 30 bucks and they're they sound amazing um, I had a pair of the Samsung earbuds I think these sound as good if not better than those <laughs> because they're so cheap when um, the cats play with because the the pod that holds them is like a disc like a puck and so they'll play with them and knock them well I've lost like four pairs and so I'm like I'm stripping the bed apart it was you know you know you gotta rotate your mattress do all that so I drug the hubby upstairs and we rotated the mattress and I'm like you know what I'm in here I'm gonna get down on the floor and I found four <laughs> of my my sets and um, I have a really nice set of Harman Kardon um, head it's a head it's an actual headset you know that goes over your head and on your ears um, I misplaced those and I'm like what did I do with that apparently they played with that too and and the reason why I know they did it is because all of them <laughs> were found at the end of the bed uh, so under the foot of the bed and um, we keep a giant cedar chest at the foot of the bed and so I was like we got to move the chest and sure enough there they were anywho I found all my headphones I'm excited anywho let's get into what I found hey y'all it's orange I'm so excited it's not white or yellow And I think it's, I can't tell if it's orange or tangerine. But it's yummy. Anywho. I somehow scored two freebies. Not sure how that happened, but I'm not complaining. So if you're new to crafting, you're new to MFT, my favorite things, that's the name of the company. When you spend $50, you automatically get, I believe, free shipping. Then when you spend six, uh, a total of $60, you get a free item. And there's three that you get to pick from. Well, the one I picked was this guy. He's called Sweet Christmas. And um, on the next MFT order, I'm going to get the die set for him. I almost got it in this one, and I'm, and, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not going to use him that much. But now that I have him, he's actually super adorable. So, um, have a sweet Christmas, and then uh, you can stamp all the red, so you're good to go there. But I'm a little bummed because they have the whole body, but... I guess I would need to come, I think I would come over with probably some black, um, 
like Nouveau drops and um, somehow do the belt in gold. I don't know how I would do that. And then of course the bottom I would probably do in like liquid applique and poof it up. But then you have these pieces here to stamp to, and actually fill in and color in the candy canes and um, you can stamp these to actually get the ornaments. And I like how they have them situated so that when you just line them up, you're good to go. So anyway, that was my first freebie. The other one, I gotta say that's cute. It's called the Gnome Freebie. So apparently this is only a freebie unless they release it later. And um, this gift has your name on it. This is from me and my gnomies. There's no one I love to spoil more than you. So really, really adorable. Of course, the standard thank you from the team and signed by uh, the individuals who fill the order. All right. I guess we'll start small and then go to the big ones. So the first one I got, um, this is the, it's called Jingle Hugs. And again, this particular line really reminds me, um, this artist, uh, T.I., I can't remember who that is, but um, reminds me of the Strawberry Shortcake Gang. And I think that's why I like it so much. Um, I, you know, I had a good childhood. I am not going to, I am not complaining at all about my childhood, but... You know, we didn't always get every, you know, my mom worked really hard to raise the three of us by herself. And I don't recall, I think my sister got a couple strawberry shortcakes, but I never got any. And I always loved strawberry shortcakes. Um, And I think, so I think that's why I love these so much because I never had any of the strawberry shortcakes. I did have a really cute strawberry shortcake watch. Uh, so I did have that. Uh, I think, I think my dad gave me that. I can't remember who gave me that. I have no clue where it's gone. You know, that was 40 something years ago. Anywho, so I just think she's adorable. Joyful greetings, jingle hugs. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Super, super adorable. Y'all are going to know right away why I had to have this one. And this actually takes care of both sides of the family. This is called Paw, so P-A-W, la 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 la. Paw la 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 la. You tell me that is not cute. And of course, y'all know um, if there were dyes, I did get the dyes to go with them. Uh, so just cuteness right there and I think what I love so much about this one is there's even an angel kitty so that means a lot to me he this one kind well kind of looks like El Suave but El Suave did not have stripes but anyway so you have pa la 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 pause love and joy from all of us to all of you, and we wish you a furry Christmas. And then it's it's just the um, tree dye. The next one, uh, y'all know me and Stacy Yakula. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Is this her too? No, I don't know who, I don't, I don't think this is a particular artist, not sure. But this one's called Christmas Carols. What did I drop? Oh, my invoice. I like that you even have like the little paver path that they can stand on. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. And so, you know, there are cute little, I'm going to call them our little farmyard carolers. That's what I'm going to call them because you got, 
Is that not the cutest, sweetest little cow? That is just the cutest little cow. And I think this is a cow too. I'm not sure. I can't tell if that's a cow or a pig. Anyway, and then you get the little baby lamb, the little bunny, a little bird. Of course, I'm a sucker for street lights, so. And everything to cut everything out except for the sentiments, which is not a problem, but I love that everything's included to cut everything out, including the little note. So there's that one. We have two more sets. The next one is called Special Delivery. And there we are. A whole lot of happy is coming your way. I'm headed to wherever you are. And I was a sucker when you can put the little critters in the cars because I would actually turn this into a shaker. Um, it would do so, I would have to do some fussy cutting because the dies don't cut out the inside, but that's okay. Um, just need a straight knife and uh, cut it out. And they can be sitting inside and maybe the, I don't know, something's floating around in there. But a die to cut everything out. So there's that. And the last one that I saved. Uh, this is called Meowie Christmas. So y'all know I had to have it. And... <laughs> Um, there's even a little, a little guy with, uh, antlers and they got, um, uh, stockings on their heads, um, a scarf, sweater. I love, I am so in love with this tree. I think it's so funny that this cat is sitting on this ornament and I love the candle. That candle is amazing. And then you have the dies to cut everything out, including the awesome candle. So there is my light, lightest, latest MFT haul. Um, I, I sound weird. It's 7 o'clock. Y'all know I'm an early bird. But uh, I've been up. I've been up since early this morning just cleaning around the house, cooking, cleaning, um, my son and I went to Wally World and they had, um, uh, carpet cleaners marked down, but the best part of it was they were actually carpet cleaners that were also sold on walmart.com by Walmart. And the reason why I say that's kind of like Amazon, you've got sold by Amazon and then third parties and Walmart only price matches online from walmart.com if they sell it. So we got, uh, I got a new carpet cleaner because we killed the old one. Because when you have pets, you, you have to carpet clean. Because um, I mean, the dander, you know, I vacuum all the time, but still there's that, you know, that pet dander. All I can say is, yeah. Anyway, it was a $190 carpet cleaner, I think, and on their website it was $99. But it was a hundred and it was on sale at Walmart for $159. So they were really reluctant to mark, you know, to give us the price match, but because it was their product on their site, they had to do it. But they were cringing when they did it. <laughs> so we got that one. And then they had another one that's a small one. Um, so the one we got is a pet, a pet, a pet pro. I think it's a Hoover pro, pet pro something. And then there was another one that was on clearance, I think, for $65. And um, I got it for my son. So... Uh, just so he has it because I mean it was a good price. It's not a big old beast of a machine, but you know, he's a he's a single guy It's something that he'll use so and then he came home and he completely detailed my husband's car 
mine gets it next weekend. I can't wait. So, I mean, he pulled the seats out and carpet cleaned the seats and the carpet. Um, my car is a little easier. For one, I keep it clean and I have leather seats so you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to vacuum them. But, uh, I do want to get the detail brushes so just so that I can, you know, get the, all the seams. But, anywho. The only thing I really want him to do to my car is I want a deep, um, like a hand wax and then take the, uh, I always forget, uh, the clay bar to the body uh, because the clay bar will really pull everything off of the paint. And my husband is notorious for spray painting, but he never backs my car out of the driveway when he does it. And I don't know about you, but you can feel... You can't see it on my car, but when you run your hand over it, it's not silky smooth. So the clay bar, when he clay bars the finish, it'll take care of that. So, yeah. All right. Um, those of you who have stuck around to the end are probably curious about how the consult went. So I am having knee surgery. Uh, basically, it's another arthroscopic um, I had one when I was 16, so well over 30 years ago, quite a, quite a bit over 30 years ago, and um, they're going to go in arthroscopic. I think they said this one will probably be anywhere two to three holes. My first one, I've got four holes, so my knee has, so here's your patella, and that's where my holes are. I've got four holes there. That's where they had to go in and, and do whatever damage control they could do as far as my destroyed ACL. Um, this one, they're going to go in because it's getting caught in the joint, my meniscus, and it, um, the knee is locking, which is so flippin' painful. And uh, they're going to go in, and he said smooth off the meniscus. And um, just so it's not getting caught in there, because it's getting caught as well in the joint. Um, so anyway, um, I think that's going to be towards the end of November, because I don't want to have surgery before going on the cruise. And because um, our cruise is October 30th, I can't wait. Uh, I booked... I booked... I already booked and paid for the steakhouse for the first night. Uh, I already ordered cases of water. Um, I think tomorrow or Monday I'm going to do the travel insurance. And pay off our gratuities. That way when we get it on the ship, we don't have to pay for anything. Because we have a $700 onboard credit. So, uh, once we get on the ship, everything is already paid for and, you know, I can have all the specialty coffees I want. He can have the beers that he wants and, yeah, book a couple excursions. Oh, I booked Mr. Sancho's in Cozumel. I love that place. If you ever get to go to Cozumel, definitely go to Mr. Sancho's. It's amazing. I love it. I've been there about four or five times already. You can get um, the most amazing massage. Um, you can get a fish petty. Yes, I have done the fish petty. It is fun. No, it is not gross. Um, what else have I done there? So we do the all-inclusive so that uh, you have a dedicated waiter. And you get all you can eat, all you can drink. And it's made fresh to order. It's not... Like, they do have a buffet that you can go to, uh, but I order always order off the menu, and it always comes fresh. And then the drinks, they're not watered-down drinks. Like, if you tell them that you want to uh, feel it, oh, they'll make it strong, and, and you'll be feeling it. <laughs> so, just letting you know that little tidbit. Uh, so, there's that. And, um, yeah, so that's what's up with the cruise. It's overdue. I can't wait. I, I so can't wait. Now, on to the scavenger hunt. 
Um, this is what I, I am not using it right now. Once I finally get around to getting all my camera set up, set up. Uh, but there's some stuff I want my son to do uh, before I do that. Um, so I've been recording with my camera or my phone. But um, this is the Nikon 1J1. And this is a mirrorless DSLR camera. A compact size. And it has interchangeable lenses. Uh, I got to get it lined up again. There we go. Uh, if you remember, they discontinued this line in 2015, so six years ago, and it ended with the Nikon 1J5, which was the last model of this. So there's obviously a J1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and they have different, you know, the newer they are, they have um, better features. And I will tell you that this takes amazing, and when I mean amazing, I mean beautiful video. However, you can only do, I think it's 15, I can't remember if it's 15 or 20 minute videos. So I've been known to have 30 and 45 minute videos. And when I do that, then that means that I have to splice videos together, which I hate doing. Uh, the other thing is, um, sorry, it bugs me when stuff's dirty. Um, it has a smaller sensor. And so when, even though it takes gorgeous pictures, when I go to blow them up, um, I'm limited to how big I can make them. And... I'm trying to get a hold of the Nikon 1 J5. Now there's also a V line, as in Victor. So there's a V1, a V2, a V3. Now I don't know if they went all the way to 5, but basically I'm trying to get the J5 at around $200. Yes, it is six years old and it's still an expensive camera uh, for being a discontinued camera but the j5 the 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 screen on the back actually flips so that if i'm recording me i can flip it upside down and actually see what's being recorded um, it does a whole bunch of, oh it has a bigger sensor in it so um, the picture quality is better. The video quality is better. I mean, it's it's just a wonderful little camera. But I want a J5. <laughs> um, I have a I have a really big like giant Nikon, um, but when we travel, they're so heavy, and I just want a smaller camera to take when we travel. And I'm having a hard time finding the J5. People either want $300, $400, $500 just for the body and no lens. And when it came new, it, it came with a lens. So I'm like, if you're selling it, then include the lens. Uh, but I will tell you, um, one of the, I think one of the downfalls of this line besides that it has a really small sensor, is the lenses for these. So this is the, I think this is the kit lens. Um, I think I have another one. I can't remember. But these lenses for these cameras um, are only good on these cameras. You can't put these particular lenses on any other Nikon. Now, if you have other Nikon lenses there's an adapter that you can put on the camera so it can take the other lenses, but um, 
so you're kind of limited on what you can do with it as far as your your aperture your you know your zoom your all that and the lenses are very expensive some of the lenses for this for this camera here some of the lenses are four five six eight nine hundred dollars you know but they are they're nikon lenses um but they're very specific to this camera and I'm just, you know, I'm running my mouth, but basically I'm trying to find a decent price on the J5. That's the only model I want because the J5 was the only one that had a significant change to the sensor. The one through the four, they all have the same size sensor. And that makes a difference. So, um, so yeah. Uh, if you know anybody in your area, you know, I've been looking on Mercari. Um, I've been looking on uh, Facebook Market. I did find one guy that has the J5, but he will only take payment by Zelle, and I don't want to use Zelle. Um, I don't have any recourse as far as, um, like, if there's an issue with shipping or... Um, You know, kind of like when you go through PayPal, you have some kind of recourse if there's an issue. You don't have that. And I don't want to link somebody I don't know to my bank account anyway. So, um, and he won't budge. And and he explained why, and I understand. Um, he says he's been burnt by people who have bought stuff from him and then turned around and filed complaints and got their money back. And... Not only did they keep the item, they got their money, so they got their item for free. So I understand that, but, you know, if he went into my, you know, my eBay, he can see, you know, I've had my eBay account for, I don't know, 15 years, 15, 16 years, I think, maybe longer, and I, and I have 100%. I still have 100%. I used to sell, I buy all the time, so, and I have amazing reviews, but I understand. Oh, and I'm being picky. <laughs> uh, this camera in the J5, it comes in a white, a straight silver, and then it comes in that classic, like, Nikon look, you know, where it's like silver here, and then it's got the black stripe across the front um i will take any color but that vintage look the one that's got the silver and the black striping around the body yeah i don't want that one uh, to me that is something because you know it's kind of somehow laminated to the body so that's something that's down the road that can be peeled off and to me, it's a collector of dirt and grime. To me, a smooth body, I can easily wipe it down, you know. But uh, anywho, I've been running my mouth about this camera. Um, so if you know anybody or something's in the area and... Um, and it, I'm also, it needs to come with the, the body, the lens, the charger, and a battery. Um, the instruction manual will be great because I keep all of those for all of my cameras, but, um, yeah, the Nikon one J5. And you might remember the commercial for these, um, when they first, when it first came out, Ashton Kutcher was like, like doing, um, somersaults into parties and cartwheels and stuff, and then he would just pop up. And whip this camera out of his suit and take pictures. <laughs> it was kind of a stupid commercial, but I mean, it's cer certainly stuck in my head. Um, but uh, I was able to snag this one up about four years ago uh, for eighty bucks. I really got a great deal um, on this camera, but you know, I'm I'm willing to pay. A decent amount but you know I'm not gonna give you near retail when it's a K 
camera that's been discontinued already for six years. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So, uh, anywho. So if anybody can help me with that, let me know. Um, I've done my local Facebook market. I've done Mercari. I have done eBay. The eBay, there's plenty on eBay, but they're all in Japan and Thailand. And I don't want to buy a camera from there. And um, the reason being, if you've traveled a lot, then you kind of know what I'm talking about. Certain products, certain electronics that are made overseas, they're somehow they're formatted for those regions. And so you need a... So where's my serial number on here? Um, there are ones that are made in the U.S. And so I want one that's going to come from the U.S. So, because I just don't want to mess with that. Same thing with DVDs. Just so you know, if you're like buying online, make sure if it's a, coming from overseas that it's a, a, a U.S. region. Because if you buy a movie from overseas and it gets here, it's not going to play in your machine because it's not formatted for our machines. Which I think is a little redonkulous, but anywho. Yes, I've run my mouth forever. I haven't had a video this long in quite some time. So I'm going to let you guys go. If you can help me hunt that down, I would appreciate it. And um, I'm going to get back to my chores around the house. So love you guys to pieces. Thanks for stopping by. If you stuck around to the end, thank you. And as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.